When margins are narrow and design decisions are crucial, high-speed signal validation engineers want full trust and control of their measurements. Learn how a new feature in Keysight's Infinimax Ultra Series probe amplifiers gives you more control over how your measurements are calculated on your oscilloscope. We're talking about TrueView and Source Estimate Mode, two methods of calculating the probe correction response. In this video, you will learn which mode is more accurate, which shows snappier signals, and which mode is recommended for transmitter and receiver testing. Let's dive in. First, remember that when you use a probe to connect your signal to your scope, your probe becomes part of the circuit affecting your test. This is called probe loading. To get the most accurate measurements, you want a probe with very low probe loading, something like the Infinimax Ultra Probe. Let's look at my scope screen where I've put a signal into channel one. The yellow trace represents the input of the signal before a probe is connected, also called the source. Let me capture a single shot, M1 in orange, so we can more easily see the trace. Next, let me probe that signal. See the green trace on channel two. It's pretty close because of the probe's low loading. What is being shown is the voltage at the tip of the probe with probe loading, also known as V-out over V-in, or true view mode. Let's also capture a single shot, M2 in teal. Now, wouldn't it be neat to measure the actual signal with a probe, but pretend the probe wasn't there? That's physically impossible because there is no such thing as an ideal probe, but we can estimate the voltage at the probe point without probe loading. We say estimate because in the calculation, we have to assume a 25 ohm source impedance. Let's turn channel two back on where we have the probe and change the mode from differential true view to differential source estimate. And again, let's take a single shot M3 in purple. This is where we are estimating what the signal would be without the probe, also known as V out over V source or source estimate mode. Now remember, the orange trace is the source, the teal trace is true view or V out over V in, and the purple trace is source estimate or V out over V source. Both true view and source estimate are technically correct ways to correct the probe response. Which one should you use? True view is the recommended mode when you want a more accurate representation of the signal that currently exists as it is being probed. It's also better for receiver sensitivity testing because you want to measure the signal that is actually there. It doesn't hide the fact that the probe loaded the signal, so it may appear that your signal has a slower rise time. Source estimate is the recommended mode if you know the system source impedance is 25 ohms. Source estimate can be better for transmitter testing since you're estimating the signal coming out of the transmitter. But since it hides the effect that probe loading has on the signal being probed, it can hide if probe loading is causing your signal to lose timing or amplitude margin. Source estimate does tend to show snappier signals since the algorithm essentially removes the low pass filter of the probe impedance. In conclusion, which method you choose for correcting your probe response is up to you. And with Keysight's Infinimax Ultra Series, it's now even easier to switch between the modes. Just push a button on the probe amplifier if you have an AutoProbe 2 interface and go to the probe configuration menu on the scope screen to select the mode if you have an AutoProbe 1 interface. For all other Infinium probes, you can access the two methods via the Precision Probe software. For more information on TrueView and Source Estimate Mode, visit our website.